Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Slovo Simic, and uh, I'm here from Texada Software. And one of the things we wanted to do today is demonstrate to you how to create a work order in Texada Web. So to get started, what you're seeing right here is the web page. Any web browser really works. I'm going to use Chrome here. To create a work order, we simply come into the work create work order option right here on the left hand side. We click on that. And uh, right here, you, you see a few different uh, fields to fill out. We've got your division location, which tip, it's typically pre-populated based on your operator code and configuration. Um, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select the one I like to work out of, which is uh, the wealth location. And now I just kind of work through my fields here. I've got my purchase order number, so I'll type that in here. Um, I'm going to do a standard invoice and I'm going to search for my customer. So I'm just going to start typing in my customer information right here and that stuff populates. Right here under asset, this is where we can search for our assets. So we have the ability to create a work order based on inventory that we have in our, in our physical location. Or what we can even do is we can generate a work order based on our customer's assets. So if you have certain customers that bring in their equipment in and you want to maintain their service records for them, you're able to come in here and input that information on the fly. Uh, for today, I will just search one of my existing assets right here. It also gives me a pop-up right here. It says, do you want to overwrite the existing work order information with the customer and center information from the asset? You can say yes or no to this. Um, I'll just say yes. And then that adds my asset right here. Um, I can add a couple comments for my service decks and I can come in here and I can save that comment. Um, and then the next step right here that I can do is I can just come in here and select um, a service deck uh, that's going to work on this. I can come in here and select Alex, for example, and I can just come in here and create the work order. What this does is a blank work order has been created for this customer for this asset. Uh, hopefully this was a beneficial tutorial for everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a shout. Thank you.